Hello, all my regulars on YouTube, archived on YouTube, Bernie Bear, Bernard Eugene Behringer Jr., setting the timer at 10 minutes. I got queen size olives on the left. I've got cashews on the left. And I've got coffee with vanilla, no fat, cream, and stevia on the right. The teaching today is, it's going to be archived, is one man person image mediator, which would be 1 Timothy 2, 3 through 7. 1 Timothy 2, 3 through 7. Please get your Bibles out. We're going to write in our Bibles in the margin. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ, ransom payment for life. I added, Lord Jesus Christ, ransom payment for life. Verse 4, who will have all men or humanity, all humanity to be saved and to come to the spiritual knowledge of the truth. What is the spiritual knowledge of the truth? The next five words. And the spiritual knowledge of the truth, what is truth? Said uh, the Roman governor. And the Lord said, or John said, the spirit is truth. You know what the Lord answered? Uh, Pilate, the Roman governor, and Paul said, he had good witness testimony and confession before Pontius Pilate was Paul's statement. But the Lord's statement in red letter in, what is it, the 18th chapter, I believe. Could be wrong on that one. I'm chasing a rabbit right now, so I'm not tuned up. Uh, 1836 and 37. For this I was born. May I repeat that good line. For this I was born, and he was born of a woman's womb water, Mary. And it came into your world or realm to bear witness to the truth. Everyone, and there's a word left out, everyone that is born of the spirit of truth, hears my voice, hears my teachings, and become disciples of the new sect called the way in grace. Paul never persecuted Christians. The disciples were not called Christians when Paul was persecuting the early disciple believers. He was persecuting going to synagogues with letter from the priest, high priest, that if he found any in the new sect called the way, standing in synagogues, raising their hands, and proclaiming Yahshua, Jesus of Nazareth, as the Christ and the Messiah, he would arrest them and put them in jail and give his approval for their death. He was persecuting disciples of the new sect, S-E-C-T, called the Way. And there's, well, I won't go in that direction. Let me go back to reading verse 5. 1 Timothy 2, 5. For there is one God. And the Catholics brought in Trinity. And if you study really early Catholicism, they believed in the one God of Israel in the beginning before they made up the non-biblical, non-scriptural word Trinity. That's why I don't like to get into discussions. I told this one group that they kind of, uh, what do they do? They uh, Their ministry is pointed at uh, Islam, Islamic believers. And uh, so they always go all the way back to Genesis. If you're in the new covenant of grace, all you got to do is study the top four writers, Paul, Luke, John, and, or top three, 
because Peter, James, and John, the pillars of the early church of Jerusalem, what was their calling and what was their ministry to? What was the calling of Peter, James, and John, the pillars of the early church in Jerusalem? To bring Jews to the new covenant. They shook hands with Paul and Barnabas in fellowship and Paul and Barnabas says, we're going to the Gentiles. And they said, just remember the poor saints in Jerusalem. Take up a collection for the poor saints in Jerusalem. And they said they would do that. But Paul is sent to us. Luke, the Greek Gentile doctor, writer of the Gospel of Luke and the book of Acts, Acts of the Apostles, a doctor historian is sent to you and I, the Gentiles. And we should be looking in to those two writers if you're a Gentile. Do you know how to find the last six letters of Paul written in the last six years of his life? When he got to Rome, after they released him the first time, he rented his own house and taught for two years in Rome. He taught the longest place that he taught was headquarters, Ephesus, for over three years, maybe three and a half. That's why Ephesus is the headquarters. That's when he was ready to die, his time of departure, he sent Tychicus away from him back to Ephesus. Why? Tychicus was to assist Timothy, who became elder and head bishop of headquarters Headquarters started the new sect called the Way by 50 A.D. in the capital of the Roman Empire on the west coast of Asia Minor, Turkey. Let's finish reading here. Let's repeat verse 5. For there is one God. Did you get your Bibles out? Does the Word of God really say that? Yes, it does. For there is one God. And one mediator between God and man, the one man, one person, one image, one living temple and cup, the one man, Christ Jesus, in human form, the one person, man, image, living temple, cup, who gave himself a ransom, ransom payment for life. The Lord Jesus Christ is the ransom payment for eternal life. The blood dealt with sin, and it was done once for all forever 2,000 years ago. The sin barrier was taken down between the Father and his creation. Who is the ransom? Eh, eh, who gave himself a ransom payment for all to be test, testified in due time? Now is the due time. Wherefore I am ordained, Paul speaking, a servant, teacher, preacher, apostle. I speak the truth in Christ and lie not a teacher of the Gentiles in faith in Christ anointing and virtue, pure love, agape love, truth of the Lord God Elohim. I added a few words, obviously. I am an elder that teaches the truth. I'm sitting here in my recliner at 80 years old. I think I'll have a drink of coffee and a few cashews. Love you. Have a blessed day.